The real story behind Tony Ilumelu's wealth, achievements. Tony Onyemaichi Ilumelu, one of Africa's leading investors and philanthropists, is the chairman of United Bank for Africa UBA, a leading pan-African bank with branches in 20 countries, including the United States of America, France, United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom. He is also the chairman of Hairs Holding, Transcorp, and founder of Tony Ilumelu Foundation. Born on the 22nd March 1963 in Jos, the Plateau State capital, to Suzanne and Dominic Ilumelu from Oni Chauku in Aniocha North local government area of Delta State. Tony Ilumelu obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics from the Ambrose Ali University and a Master of Science degree in Economics from the University of Lagos. He is also an alumnus of the Advanced Management Program of Harvard Business School. Tony Edlumelu started his banking career with Union Bank as a youth corps member in 1985. Shortly after his national service, Edlumelu started his entrepreneurship journey by selling photocopying machines. His never-say-die mentality and hunger for success led him to apply for a role in Allstate Trust Bank, despite not meeting the qualification criteria. By a stroke of luck, the CEO of the bank came across his application, invited him for an interview, and offered him the job as an entry-level analyst. Illumelo in one of his polls wrote that one of his cover letters back then had read, I know I may not have met the qualifying criteria for the advertised roles, but I am an intelligent, driven, ambitious, I will make the bank proud. My second-class lower degree does not demonstrate the full extent of my intelligence and ability, and I know I can do so much more. Through hard work, diligence, and productivity, Illumilu was made a branch manager at 26, making him the youngest bank branch manager in the country at the time. Day's opportunity would go on to influence his life, prompting him to give young employees the same opportunity he was given. His success as a branch manager ignited his passion for investing in the lives of young people. His breakthrough, however, came in 2007 when he led a group of small investors to acquire Crystal Bank, a distressed financial institution on the brink of bankruptcy. The newly acquired bank was renamed Standard Trust Bank STB and Illumilu was named as the CEO at 34 becoming the youngest banking CEO in Nigeria at the time. In a few years, Illumilu pursued an aggressive strategy that catapulted STB from obscurity into becoming Nigeria's fifth largest bank within seven years. It is pertinent to state that the concept of debt for equity swap was first introduced into the Nigerian banking industry during his arm of affairs at Crystal Bank. According to Illumilu, this was a concept that helped him turn the bank around as some large depositors were asked to show faith and confidence in the team by taking an interest in the new entity in place of deposits. In 2005, Illumilu made history again when he led the merger of Standard Trust Bank PLC with United Bank for Africa UBA, Nigeria's third largest commercial bank at the time. Interestingly, he chose to maintain the name UBA, a move that came as a surprise to many. In less than 10 years, he transformed UBA from a single country bank to a pan-African institution with over 30 million customers, 251 billion naira market capitalization, 8.5 trillion naira assets, 10,000 employees with operations in 20 African countries with offices in Paris, London and New York. This action sealed his reputation as a business turnaround expert and one of Africa's most influential business leaders. In 2010, he left his role as CEO of UBA following a CBN policy, but has a 6.39% stake in the bank, which puts him in good stead. From these, he gets a whooping $46.9 million, that's around $18.4 billion in returns. Armed with knowledge, expertise, and understanding of economic opportunities that exist in Africa, he founded Ayers Olden, 
a family-owned investment company in 2010. The company undertakes long-term investments in strategic sectors of the African economy, including financial services, hospitality, power, energy, technology, and healthcare. He also founded Airs Oil & Gas, an upstream oil and gas company, whose assets include Nigerian oil block OML-17, with a current production capacity of 50,000 barrels of oil equivalents per day and 2B reserves of 1.2 billion barrels of oil equivalent, with an additional 1 billion barrels of oil equivalent resources of further exploration potentials. As oil and gas is committed to creating resource-based added value on the African continent. Alumelu also chairs Nigeria's largest quoted conglomerate, Transcop, whose subsidiaries include Transcop Power, one of the leading producers of electricity in Nigeria, and Transcop Hotels PLC, Nigeria's foremost hospitality brand. According to a Forbes report in 2015, Ilumelo's net worth is over $700 million. Driven by his belief that the youths are catalysts for Africa's transformation, Ilumelo established the Tony Ilumelo Foundation, TEF, in 2010. The foundation, which has become the hallmark of Africa's sustainable development and a leading champion of youth entrepreneurship, has identified, trained, mentored and funded over 15,000 young African entrepreneurs across 54 African countries since its inception. In 2015, the foundation committed $100 million to empower 10,000 Africans over 10 years. Illumelu draws his inspiration from his economic philosophy of Afrikapitalism, which is a belief that the private sector is a key enabler of economic and social wealth creation in Africa. Africa capitalism positions the private sector and, most importantly, entrepreneurs as a catalyst for the social and economic development of the continent. He has received several awards and recognitions for his contributions to business, entrepreneurship and human capital development. Some of these include Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World 2010, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic CFR 2022 and Belgium's highest national honor officer in the Order of Leopold 2020. It is important to state that Tony Illumelo's rise from a copier seller to a global icon is an indication that with hard work, determination, consistency, self-belief and a bit of luck, you can achieve your goals and aspirations in life. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting content. Thanks for watching.